and this is Black Views, bringing you the Black News. This is BJAX, and so today I'm going to talk about how 13,000 uh, migrant, immigrant children are ending up at the U.S. border. Because see, people are not asking questions. Now notice all this is going on at the same time. We have the Asian hate groups. I'm sorry, we have the Asian hate uh, thing going on. Uh, we have, uh, and now we have 13,000 people coming to the border. Okay, there were shootings the other day. Okay, so is this under our nose or what? Okay, so what I do have here is a short news video to give you some additional information. And then I will come back with my commentary. Thank you so much. Stand by. Some unaccompanied migrant children stopped at the U.S. border are due to arrive today at a new temporary detention center in Dallas. The U.S. is holding some 13,000 unaccompanied minors after a surge in arrivals that began in January when President Biden took office. The rush to open new holding facilities suggests the new administration was not ready for this migration and critics say it should have been. Maria Villarreal is in McAllen, Texas. Texas. Maria, what's the president saying about this? Well, good morning, Anthony. The uh, president had his interview last night, and his message was clear to migrants, don't come. And his reasoning was, quote, we're in the process of getting things set up. But still, people are coming by the thousands, many of them children, that will end up in temporary facilities like this one. But as the government continues to get things set up, crossing the border is just the beginning of a journey that could be very long and confusing. Within minutes of filming a processing center on the border, agents ask us to leave. So you can't come out here on this border. Please stop coming. The media's access to federal run sites has been restricted, making it harder to understand how the process is working. But under a bridge that connects Mexico to the United States, we were able to see dozens of children and adults waiting for processing. Families are given water, snacks, and foil blankets while they wait to officially enter the system. The unaccompanied minors are first held in short-term centers like this. The only pictures provided are from the government. But lawyers tell us children are going hungry, some showering once in seven days and in conditions so overcrowded that they had to take turns sleeping on the floor. To get the children out faster, makeshift shelters like this one in Dallas are opening up. But it's not just migrants crossing illegally that are testing the system. A Brownsville parking garage a block from the border has been converted into a welcome center for migrants who have crossed through a port of entry and have been processed by the federal government. When migrant families arrive, they uh, first come to this step uh, with the city of Brownsville and the folks here help them uh, contact their families and start providing transportation uh, either by bus or by plane around the country to reunite them with their families and friends wherever they're going. Once the government is able to locate relatives here in the U.S., some of the children who made their journeys alone are reunited with their families, leading to moments like this in Los Angeles, a mother and her five-year-old hugging for the first time in more than four months apart. We've showed you what it's like to cross the border. We've now showed you what it's like in some of these facilities. Now the next step is to fight for your asylum in these court cases or in these court hearings. And that's a process that is overwhelmed as well. That system is overwhelmed. Some families telling us they are waiting years to have their cases heard in court. Maria Villarreal continuing her powerful reporting there along the border for us. Maria, thank you very much. Okay. So... That's the report there. Thank you to CBS News for allowing me the opportunity, fair use of their report. So, 13,000 have come in and they're being shipped to Dallas. Where are they gonna stay in Dallas? Your man said, don't come, we're still building it. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Don't come, we're, we're still building it and then, and then you can come later. Like, after we set it up and we get all the chairs set up, then y'all can come later. And, like, what, I mean, what is going on, brother man? They have, they, they have basically opened up the floodgates to allow illegal aliens to come into the country. We're supposed to have sympathy for them because, what, they're poor? And because, what, the children? 
Do you know how many black kids are locked up every year for some type of crime that need help, that need recovery? Do you know how many black kids who's just out here starving? Think about it. A lot of these kids commit crimes because they, they don't have no other source of income. So they're committing crimes. And so now, 13,000 migrant, migrant children. Now, I always thought it was immigration when they come over and migrant was when you migrated to like, let's say if I moved from California to DC, that I would migrate to DC because I'm in the country. So I'm not really sure, maybe I'm wrong. I'll go ahead and move past that. Um, so what's going on? They're coming to all the major cities where black people are already there, poor as hell, on drugs, out of their minds. And so they're gonna go there and get new shoes, new clothes, new, new jackets for the winter, new hats, because they come from tropical countries, so they don't need any of that stuff. They're gonna get all types of gear, the money paid for with tax dollars now, to protect this buffer class. Now, pay attention where they're shipping them to. I, I, I think they're gonna start moving them around to places where they can shift the vote. Okay, because I believe the Democrats are just fed up. This is a Democrat thing. Because remember, when 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 uh, Trump was in office, he was like, hell no, we're going we're gonna to build a wall over there, right? So this is a Democratic thing. This your man Biden right here did this. And for all you black people that voted for him, this is what you're getting. Nothing for you. You're gonna you're gonna cape for everyone else and protect everyone else, and then when you have problems, there's nothing for you. See how it goes? The Asians have a problem. Oh, let's make a crime bill for them, a COVID, a COVID uh, bill for them. Because someone's telling him, "Oh, Trump did this, so you're gonna have to build a bill for them." Well, what about all the other presidents and very important people in high office that had negative things to say about black people? Where's the money to correct that infrastructure? For the last 60 years, we've been sitting around here like, you know, what, what, civil rights is, is what, what, what do we get? What do we get? We got a crime bill that's still in effect. Now we're being told that we're attacking Asians. And now you have 13,000 migrant children at the, children. So that means they're just going to be shipped all over the country to go to different schools and shit on tax dollars. And guess what? They ain't got no parents here. So that, that means that they're going to be war to the state. Now we're going to have more and more molestation, pedophilia, sex trafficking. Oh, about this shit about to ramp up, Joe. This is about to ramp up. It's getting nasty out here, you know? And they're trying to do all this at our expense because down the road somewhere, they're gonna blame the migrant, uh, the immigration on black people. You know, black people were too lazy to, to work in the field and the jobs to get the, to get the onions and the tomatoes, so we had, we, had, we had to bring the immigrants over the border. Because this is how the white man think. I'm sorry, this is how the white supremacists think. Okay, this is exactly how white supremacists think. And that's your man Biden. He don't even care about the people that voted for him. He so strongly came out to say that black people put him over the top. But in the end, black people gets nothing. The same as before, nothing. A whole bunch of nice talk, smiles, a, a dance for you, a jig for you, some kind words, and talk about Obama, and we supposed to be straight. But as you can see, the whole world gets benefits. When they come through, when they come through here, all they gotta do is come over here and they get they get taken care of. That's it. That's it. So it makes you wonder, like, who's in our governments? We had we had we have black, like I said, black so-called, they're so-called leaders, because they ain't leading anything. They don't have anything to say. Nor do they say, well, this is a great opportunity to push for benefits for blacks since since we see other people are getting it. Let's get some documentation together and let's wedge. They do not care, bro. Only thing they get, only thing they care about is LGBTQ, making sure that they're equal. Okay? 
and they, and they care about uh, 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 you know that's what else all our black leaders I think they're gay they think they're gay I think they're all gay I think they're all LGBTQ all your representatives all everybody in Congress all LGBTQ that's what I think because you can't say anything I I, I is there any is, are there any programs for boys just boys okay not, not nothing racist or nothing toxic just a program for boys no and you're not allowed to have that and if you talk about that you're going to lose your jobs so i didn't really mean to go off the topic but 13,000 can you see the future just just there's 13,000 children right here, right now, and they're pushing them all over the country. Meanwhile, black people, me, me, meanwhile, black people out here suffering. Black people out here don't have money for for their own for their own mortgage or their own rent, and, and there is no institutions out here to help that. If you listen to that little video snippet, did you see where where the guy said, yeah, they go through here and they help them off here once they check in? Like they have a support system for them. And then and then get in contact with their family members so that they can be. Who does that for black people? Can you imagine like right after slavery, you know, they had these lawyers and shit set up to talk about how bad conditions were and that then they put a system together to to connect all the black families together, and then and then, and then make sure that that the, uh, uh, you know that the children uh, ha have have uh, shoes on their feet, and they're gonna get a pair of Nikes. You see what I'm saying? While black kids got bobos out here and shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, just think about it. Just, I want you to just think about it. People saying, "Oh, they're children," but we got our own black children. We have our own black children upon which nothing is ever done for. And then when they tell the report about these kids being under the bridge and they're processing and the conditions are bad, hey, you came over the border. You're outside in the woods and shit. So it's all propaganda once again to bleed black people, separate black people, and make black people hate one another. And that's pretty much all it is. So I say once again to my brothers and my sisters, watch where you spend your money. Seek black businesses. Seek black transactions. Make black friends. So what a motherfucker don't say nothing back. Move on to the next black person that looks friendly. You must communicate. If you do not communicate, we will certainly die. Come on, stop the bullshit. Some of y'all too old for this. Any man over 18 that's afraid to say uh, good morning or hello to another man, we have a problem. And we do have a problem. So, so all the brothers that, you know, that's out here that, that think they alpha males or whatever, bravo males, and, and you feel like you outgoing, I task you, I task you to speak to a brother. Speak to a sister in a kind voice and let her know that you can help her. You're there to assist her. Speak kind to a brother who may, he may not, he may not be in the right frame of mind. Hey, what's going on, brother? Everything gonna be all right. Keep it moving. We need that from each other, man. Please like and subscribe. Also comment. I want to hear your feedback on this because this will contribute to my next video that comes out. Thank you and have a great day.